my awesome Aries people. I missed you guys. Thank you for your beautiful collective energy towards me. It is an honor to do your readings, Aries. Love you guys. Thank you for your beautiful letters. I appreciate you and love you in return, of course. So Aries, you want a soulmate reading. Oh, before we start, happy Saturday. Happy weekend, Aries. So it's Saturday morning where I am. I hope you're going to have a beautiful, restful weekend with your loved ones. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Aries. What you'll be dealing with, facing. And how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of the video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time, how they are currently relating to you emotionally and what's on their mind. What are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Aries? Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Aries? What will Aries be dealing with, facing and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Aries? This one wants to come out very strongly as extra message. Let's see Aries. Wow, important communication coming to you. Back and forth communication, back and forth, back and forth unexpected quick because this is in position one so it's somebody somebody uh unexpectedly showing up in your life either physically or unexpectedly uh communicating with you out of nowhere like reappearing out of nowhere without a warning for some of you it already happened you see this is position one it's ha either about to happen and for some of you they already appeared or reappeared yeah uh look at this but you're very guarded towards this person this is you very guarded towards them but i love this energy for you because the, here it shows that you're not playing games you are serious you are protecting your heart uh you have a lot of wisdom you are very intelligent perceptive because the sword is pointing the, up you see instead of down this is you protecting your heart Speaking with integrity, honesty. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. It's somebody that you care about deeply. <clears throat> You're still holding on to this person. Uh, but they disappointed you. They didn't reciprocate. You see? They didn't reciprocate. They didn't put work into this. And your back is turned towards that energy. <clears throat> you let them know that you were very disappointed. So it looks like for most of you, it's definitely your soulmate. They're going to reappear in your life. Uh, they're going to communicate out of nowhere. Some of them already did. Yeah, you see, you're still holding on to this person. You still feel the two of you have unfinished business. You still love this person, even though you're very disappointed in them. You're still holding on. Yeah, let's see. This communication is needed to clear the air between you two. And then you can decide what you're going to do with them. But this communication is good for you <clears throat> to clear the air with them. To know if you're truly going to give them a chance or not. If they're worthy of that chance or not. Wow. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Aries. What will Aries be dealing with facing? And how is Aries currently doing? On their soulmate journey. Wow, this person uh, that is communicating or will be communicating unexpectedly thinks very highly of you. You are very important to them. A lot of you are dealing with the Leah, also Taurus. Taurus here again. But they could be any sign whatsoever. <clears throat> yeah, you are very guarded. You're not sure what to do with this person. Uh, you look how guarded you are with your heart. You don't trust them. Yeah, you don't trust their intentions. Yeah, this is you at a crossroads with your swords raised up. You see, swords raised up. When you add these two of swords with the ace of swords you're holding here as very guarded, it becomes three of swords. It means that this person has inflicted a deep heartbreak 
on you. Yeah, they have they have hurt you deeply emotionally. Heartbreak, three of swords. Yeah, you've had enough. You see, this is you feeling like you're going to have to close this chapter, whether give them another chance or totally say bye-bye to them. <clears throat> you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot emotionally because of this individual. Yeah, you want new beginning in your life. In your life, period, with or without them. Knowing that you deserve somebody who reciprocates, to me, who meets you halfway, who's fair, who communicates with you openly. <clears throat> yeah, you're going to have to react. You're going to have to take action uh, because this is going to come right at you. They're coming right at you, okay, with communication and some of them coming to see you physically. Uh, unexpectedly, out of nowhere, okay? You're going to have to take an action. You're going to look at the situation objectively and you're going to decide how you're going to proceed, but you're going to proceed somehow. You're either going to tell them bye-bye, tell them your peace, how you feel, tell them goodbye, or uh, try to work with them. That's going to depend on you mostly. You have the upper hand here. <clears throat> but also partially on them, whether they're going to prove themselves to you, whether they're going to look believable. You're going to be able to judge them. The best way to communicate is face-to-face -face communication. That's the best way to resolve things, yeah, where you can see another person's face. And I'm not talking about FaceTime. I'm talking about face-to-face -face where you can touch the, the person physically, okay? Face-to-face -face communication to resolve anything. Not text messaging, not phone calls, not emails. No, none of that nonsense. Face-to-face -face communication is the real way to communicate to resolve any differences or misunderstandings or disagreements, okay? So you're going to have that chance and you're going to decide after you see them what it is you're going to do with them, whether you're going to say bye-bye for good or maybe be on friendly terms, that's going to depend mostly on you. Yeah, I see. Past life connection. You do love this person. You do. Yes, you are disappointed greatly. Yes, but you do love them. Past life connection with this person. There are some good, good things about them that you miss. You you reminisce of them. You see, this is you. Um, your heart is unable to release them. You love this person still, <clears throat> but your logic, your, your sound judgment, your common sense, your intellect, your mind is telling them bye-bye. You are ready to let them go for good, but your heart is still holding on. You still love this person. Of course, you're going to love them. You know them from past lifetimes, you see. Uh, Aries, you can still love them from a distance, but as long as they continue coming at you with toxic energy or uh, not reciprocal, not putting work into this, not communicating effectively, they don't belong in your life. Yeah, you deserve a relationship that is reciprocal, where a person meets you halfway. <clears throat> yeah, you see, both of you still holding on to each other. You're both doing it. You're both holding on, not releasing, feeling like it's unresolved, unfinished business between you two. Yeah, I think this very important, crucial communication that is happening or will happen for most of you Um is going to make you finally decide what it is you're going to do with this person. Either completely release them, wish them well, wish them love, forgive them, uh, or give them possibly another chance. Depending if they prove themselves to you, they can't just re-enter with empty words and think you're going to believe them. No, words are meaningless unless they are backed up with solid actions. Anybody can say anything and not mean it until they back it up with solid actions. So talk is cheap. Um, wow, I'm kind of surprised to see this, but I have to be honest, I can't sugarcoat. Um, this person really wants to come in with solid offer for you. Yeah, it took them a while. They slow to action, but this is truly the only night that I trust, Knight of Pentacles, bringing that missing pentacle from the past to you. They've been missing you a lot when you add four of pentacles with ace of pentacles that they're holding as a knight of pentacles. It becomes five of pentacles. This person is missing you a lot, feeling sad, regretful. Ooh, this is heavy. Let me see what's going on here. This is you still feeling unfinished business between you and your person. Like you need to clear the air with them. <clears throat> 
Yeah, you see, you are pissed at them, though. They pissed you off. They pissed you off. Ooh. Yeah. They pissed you off, Aries. Oh, yeah, they did. Um, some of the family members are meddling with this relationship as well. Some of their family members are toxic, meddling, trying to tell them what they should or shouldn't do. <clears throat> hmm. Toxic relatives showing up here of theirs. Uh, and for some of you also, you as well. Some of your toxic relatives are showing up here with this devil energy right next to four of wands. So it's hard to deal with relatives that are toxic because uh, they are your relatives. I understand that. Yeah, I understand that. It's hard when you have family reunions or have to celebrate important birthdays and the whole family shows up. Yeah, I, I understand that. It's, it's tough. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. <clears throat> Whoever it is you're thinking of or watching this video. Universe, please step in your very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries. For Aries' highest good, please. A lot of you are dealing with the Pisces too. <clears throat> Universe, the soulmate of Aries. The soulmate of Aries. What is currently going on with the soulmate of Aries? And how is the soulmate of Aries currently relating to Aries emotionally and what's on soulmate's mind. Let's see, Aries. Yeah, they want reunion. This is them. Wanting reunion under good circumstances like laughing together, um, celebrating something together, like a reunion, happy times, laughing together, maybe eating dinner together. They want to see you face to face. They, they have a lot of secrets. It looks like they're hiding a lot. What's going on here? Uh, maybe they're hiding that they're planning this reunion with you under good circumstances, friendly circumstances. They have a lot of respect for you, Aries. Yeah. They view you as an empress energy, whether you're male or female. They view you as somebody with integrity, self-respect, class, high standards. Good for you. Yeah, this is them quiet, trying to heal from heartbreak. So this person is mourning the loss of you. <clears throat> yeah, they feel heartbroken. They feel they lost you. Yeah, this is them trying to figure out what to do, how to repair this, sort of speak. Let's see. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries and how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries. Yeah, they love you deeply. Deep love for you. Unexpressed love, secret love, hidden love. Ace of Cups would like a new beginning with you. Yeah, this is them not wanting to be on... Uh, uh, uneven terms with you. They want to be on peaceful terms with you. This person is dealing with a lot of toxic people around them in their life, though, that you may not be aware of. I don't think you're fully aware. They're dealing with a lot of toxic people around them. Yeah, you see, this is them trying to place themselves in your shoes, sort of speak, to figure out what it is that you're feeling, thinking. They're heartbroken. This is them quiet, retreating in solitude. Yeah, I see. Very heartbroken over you. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, very heartbroken. Uh, not taking action right now. Not solid action, at least. Yeah, this is them hiding from you, how they feel about you. This is them fearful, not being able to see what's going to happen. A lot of respect for you. They view as very intuitive, uh, classy. So again, empress. They feel you are of great value as an individual. They want to make amends with you. A lot of you are dealing with Pisces, also Taurus. Also Cancerian, Scorpio showing up here. Yeah, they want to come in with solid offer. Ooh, yeah, the tower. So it had to be dismantled for your own good. It was very toxic connection at some point. Whenever the tower shows up, it means the universe said enough is enough. It's toxic. The universe will um, clear it up 
and show you the right path to take. It had to be broken up because it was toxic. Yeah, it was toxic situation at some point and had to be dismantled for your own good. Um, this person is going through a lot of changes in their life with that uh, tower showing up on four of swords. Let me see what's going on here. <clears throat> Universe, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? Oh, this person is trying to think of ways to reconcile with you. Hmm. Yeah, because they love you. This person loves you deeply. So while they didn't prove to you through their actions and communication that they cared, uh, they went consistent. Uh, I have to say, honestly, that their love for you is real, is deep, is genuine. They're just hiding it. The, their main objective is to reconcile with you because they love you deeply. So maybe before, when they had you, uh, you were so readily available. They didn't realize how deeply they cared for you. They had to lose you to realize how important you are to them emotionally. Yeah, you see? This is them again, four of swords, silent, retreating in solitude, trying to figure out how to reconcile with you, how to go about it. Yeah, you see, this is them planning. This is them. So some of them reached out to some of you already, but most of them have not. This is them stepping back in solitude, trying to make a wise assessment of this whole situation according to what they feel for you emotionally to uh, figure out if there's even a possibility of reconciliation, if you would allow it. If there's a chance and the reason why they want to reconcile is because they're in love with you. But let's see. We're going to go into your extended reading, Aries. And ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you. Uh, what they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time. What they have up their sleeve. Any secrets uh, that they're not telling you about. Whether they can't or... Uh, don't want to, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.